Hey everybody, it's Mike. I'm here with Paul, one of the developers on the game. Hello! We are going to talk about threats. We're going to make some threats. We're going to, no, we're going to unmake some threats. Okay, good. Yeah. That's a much better idea. <laughs> so, uh, threats are the things that are challenges in this game. Right. For example, you may have seen on an earlier video, we uh, dealt with in, uh, investigating and we discovered some uh, threats that we knocked down. So just to recap, a threat will have some numbers in the corners, like Soul Capture, for example, has 13s in both body and soul. Mm -hmm. You roll, if you get that number better, you put it back in the box. Right. Real simple. But we're going to talk about some not so simple types of threats. That's right, the true threats. The true threats. So generally those fall into two types. Right, there's the, the, uh, the minions, which are the, the people who are working against you most fervently, True. and their boss, the master. Scary. Yeah, very scary. We don't want that. So uh, we're going to show you an example here. We're on this mission called Starstruck, and our master is the succubus, and our minion is the tokoloshi man. The tokoloshi man. Yeah, and there's how many of those? Well, there's one master, and then there are a number of minions equal to the rest of the nexuses we are investigating. Excellent. So people might expect us to shuffle those into the deck. No, that's not what we do at all. No. What we do is we place the master and the minion cards here, and then we have two new types of cards, which are called the archetypes. There's the minion archetypes, and there's the master archetypes. In this case, there'll be one master, which is the succubus, and uh, enough minions to fill the rest of the decks. Since we have... Four nexuses, that'll be three of them. That's right, we would have three minions and one master. We would form a deck out of them, shuffle them randomly, and shuffle them one into each of the nexuses. Excellent. Okay, so let's, let's say we've done that. Of course. Excellent. So, uh, let's go investigating. Oh, of course. No I problem wonder what we'll find. Well, let's see. I will go and investigate here. Oh, I've discovered the minion archetype. That is shocking. What are the chances? Uh, one in one? One in one, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. Exactly. So, uh, Again, this doesn't have any text on it that tells you what it is you're fighting. No, exactly. This test tells you to refer to the one that we set aside by the mission that stays here for the entire game. That's right. So we'll go look at the Tokoloshi Man. Uh, here, the Tokoloshi Man uh, has a difficulty of 14 in body. That doesn't look good. And 10 in mind. That's much better. Yes. So I have four dice in mind. So he is influenced by charm, but I'm not very charming. It's something to do with the mask, I think. But uh, uh, So I will roll my dice. And I will succeed. Fantastic. Yay! I have defeated the Tokoloshi man. Um, there is additional text on him about if you succeed, you have to make another check. We'll assume I've made that other check, and Excellent. I have defeated, the, defeated him. So what does that give you an opportunity to do? What that gives me an opportunity to do is seal this nexus. Well, that's exciting. I know. It makes it so that we never have to worry about this again, basically. Um, for this one, I would sacrifice a card, I would draw some other cards from the box, and uh, but the most important thing is that this goes away. That is excellent news. Yes, we don't have and, to worry about and it. And to anymore. indicate that it is sealed, we flip it over, and we never have to go back there again. That's correct. All right. That went really great. I'll bet this next stuff goes great, too. Oh, no. No problem at all. Okay. So, uh, let us investigate the sewers. The sewers. You should always go in the sewers that's first. a terrible idea. Oh, my goodness. It's the master. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Okay, so this is an interesting situation because I'm at the District 1 station and you're at the sewers That's and right. no one is at Big Edie's Big Fun Park. Nope, we haven't even gone there. It's so much fun that we can't stand it. That's, that's unfortunate <laughs> news for us. <laughs> yes, really. So, uh, I'm going to do something in this game called Garden. So, I'm going to go um, at District 1, I'm going to do whatever it says to seal it. And in this case, it says sacrifice a card. I'm going to do that. And then this nexus will be off limits to the master. That's right. Okay. Because masters don't like it when you defeat them. And in fact, the first thing they try to do is run away. Whether you defeat them or not, you've discovered them, you've discovered their plans, they're trying to get away. So I've guarded this. Right. You now have to defeat the master. No problem. Those look like really high numbers. Those are really high numbers. But for the purposes of this, since it's just this, we'll just assume that we spent a lot of cards yep. and I've defeated the master. Excellent. Good job. Thank you very much. It, so, was, it was difficult. So we win the game, right? No. no. There's a problem. You there's see, the master's going to try to get away. I defeated the master, which is good for us. Yeah. Because that automatically seals this nexus. We yeah. don't have to do whatever's yeah. required here. Just seals How's this that nexus. Goes? Boom. Gone. However, now the master wants to get away. You're guarding, so the master cannot go, go there. there. No, no problem at all. But the master has one location where it can flee to, and so it will. Yeah. 
So we take the master and we shuffle it into this deck. If there were more nexuses, um, we would actually, because I defeated it, a good thing would happen in some sense. We would go get more omens from the deck. We would make a new mini deck with the master and those omens and randomly distribute them amongst the nexuses that the master can flee to. But in this case, we just have the one, so we know the master's fleet there. This gets shuffled in randomly. Totally could randomly. Be anywhere. Could not be on top. No, not at not all. Well, not very, very, very unlikely. Yeah, very unlikely. Yeah, no very unlikely. Good. Okay. Well, let's have you uh, investigate. Oh, of it. course. No problem. Now, I'm here, and I'm going to investigate, and it's the master again. It is as if this is programmed to annoy us. Yeah, it's just a little bit. Okay, so once again, I'm going to sacrifice a card. That's right. To guard this nexus. Now, it could be any number of things. Just this nexus happens to have me sacrifice That's a card. That's right. You, again, are going to uh, go up against the master. No problem. Like, I did it once. It shouldn't be a problem this time. Except... Well, let's say it is a problem. Okay, it's a problem. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, so if I lose now, um, it would be very similar to what happened before, except that this nexus is not going to get sealed. Nope. Um, Still can't go here. I've, I've guarded no it. No problem. So now we're going to take the master card, and now we're going to take omens from the omen deck that uh, that we use to determine how long we have to, to win, uh, and we're going to make another mini deck of these and distribute them randomly amongst the nexuses that are still unsealed. Uh, but in this case, I don't like any of those. Words. No, none of that. None of that is good for us. No. Um, but in this case, still, only one place to flee. Good. Shuffle it up. Good. Could be anything. Probably not on top. No, not at all. Yeah. And on the next turn, <sighs> there you go. Well, this time, wonder of wonders. No problem. We win. We we defeat the master. That's right. I've once again sacrificed my third card. That's right. A lot of cards. It is a lot. Um, uh, my third card to guard this nexus. That's right. And you now go up against the master, and you're loaded up. Everything good in your deck. That's you right. Throw down. I help you. Everything goes great, and you beat the master. That's right. Just like before, we have defeated the master at this nexus. So this nexus is automatically sealed without us having to do anything, and yep. is flipped over. Now the master wants to try to flee. Not going here. Not going here, and there's nowhere else to go. What does that mean? We win the game is we what it means. We win the game, that's right. High five. So uh, that was completely painless. Yes. Except for the three cards I sacrificed. Plus the unknown number of cards that we had to spend to get to these ridiculous totals on the master. My lord. But in any event, success. Success. We go home happy. That's right. Succubus chased out of town. No problem. Good stuff. All right, well that is how we deal with threats in Apocrypha. That's right. All right, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye. Thank you.